Todd Pennington. We're traveling around the country helping one deserving family in each and every of the 50 states. This week, we're in Arkansas, and the renovation starts right now. Michael, Eduardo, Tanya, and Johnny. We're driving through Murfreesboro, Arkansas to meet the Collins family. And these guys have gone through some pretty big changes recently and they could really use our help. Take a look at this tape and you'll see why we're here. Hi, PC! We're the Collins family from Murfreesboro, Arkansas. I'm Dennis Collins, I'm 46 years old. I'm Kim Collins, I'm 38 years old. I'm Mitchell Collins and I'm 18 years old. I'm Michael Dalton and I'm 16 years old. I'm Peter Sapon and I'm 11 years old. I'm Lindsay Cullen, I'm five years old. I'm Megan Cullen, and I'm seven years old. I'm Ashley Cullen, I'm 11 years old. Welcome, Welcome to our home. home! So not long ago, Dennis and Kim Collins were living a simple life in the country. They had two kids, Zach and Mitchell. Life wasn't always simple, though. When their son Mitchell was just three years old, he was diagnosed with having a brain tumor. He had a, a brain tumor that was cutting the fluid flow from circulating his spinal cord into the brain. He went six weeks for treatments twice a day. It burnt the back of his head terribly. His ears were damaged pretty bad, but he was alive and he was functioning. The treatment left him mentally and hearing impaired. Now the good news is, is that didn't slow Mitchell down. Lately, he's been busy collecting Papa Tops, which are the Pop Tops on soda cans. Well, he collects these and then trades them in for funds that he actually gives to kids with cancer in the Arkansas Children's Hospital. Whenever I had cancer and all the people who's helped me through it, I decided that I would help other people through their cancer treatments. And I know what they're going through. I want to give back to the community. This family definitely made the best of some bad times, and they had to do it again three years ago when Kim's cousin Artie and her husband Brian were killed in a car accident, leaving their five children behind. There's an accident out here, 177 and 56. You need to send the ambulance, and uh, there's little children here and a lady. This is a bad accident. Okay. It was a horrible accident, a horrible. Uh, the two babies, Megan and Lindsay, were in the accident themselves. Megan broke her leg, and Lindsay just had a couple of bruises. When they got the news, Dennis and Kim took all five kids in without blinking an eye. They wanted to keep the family together and out of the foster care system. Kim asked me, she said, well, she said, what do you think? Well, there ain't no, nothing to think about. You just you just step up and take care of the kids because they've got to have somebody. And uh, I wanted to keep them all together. I put the babies, Megan and Lindsay, to bed, and I kissed them goodnight. And I think, is their mom, <laughs> is their mom kissing them through me? <laughs> now, the Collins' oldest son, Zach, has eventually grown up and moved out of the house, which still leaves eight people living in a seriously cramped situation. Outside the house here where the carport used to be, uh, we boxed all this in and turned it into a, a bedroom. It's leak, kind of leaks at the bottom when it rains. Water kind of pulls up around it, and it leaks in there and soaks the carpet and all on the girls. If someone was to come and see some of the problems that we do have that, you know, we just kind of cover up and deal with. In today's time, they can come in and take your children away from you. All six of the children have all had something devastating happen to them. And if Extreme Makeover Home Edition were to come in and whether they fixed our house or built us a new home, we give our children something to be proud of, something to grow up, to enjoy it. Victory, victory, we want victory. Help us out, rap the fence, spell it out. B I C T O R Y. <laughs> wow, <laughs> great. I love it's going to be a good week. Awesome. I love that. These guys have been through so much bad, I think it's time that they finally got something good. So what do you say? Can we do this? Yes. Yes. Well, bring it in here, people. Let's make it happen. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah. Well, then let's do yes. this. Woo.
family are those quintessential American people just doing the right things, working hard, taking care of their family, and that's really what we're celebrating this week. People opening their hearts and doing what's right and doing what you hope and wish that your next of kin would do for you and your children. <laughs> you are your answer to our prayers. Thank you so much. And not care. only ours, their mom. She prayed for a home big enough for her family. And you're gonna make, you're gonna answer that prayer for her. Well, hopefully uh, today she's looking down and smiling, man. But I know that that house isn't working for you, but this week we're gonna turn things around and hopefully get a house for you guys that is working for you. And the good news is, is while we do that, you guys are going on vacation. Oh. <laughs> you wanna know where you're going on vacation? Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, so. <laughs> Kim and Dennis have been there for these kids. You know, they've brought them into their home, they've opened up their doors, they've opened up their hearts, but the house is a wreck, it's falling apart around them, and it's not the place that they need to really raise these kids the way they should. This is our home. Wow, so this is the living room? This is our living room. When we're all in here, we're on top of each other. This is our kitchen. Okay, this is the kitchen. Dining Whoa. room. Oh, yeah. this is your... That's your door frame? Yeah. I can't believe that. That, that thing is uh, that's sliding right out. OK, so we're going to need to get some duct tape on there. <laughs> so I walked into the house with Kim and Dennis, and the first thing you kind of notice is that things are tight. You've got a kitchen that's so small that it's, it's an office, dining room, and then there's a second kid's table that the really young ones, Lindsay and Megan, eat at. They've done everything they can to try and make the house in a decent living situation, but it's been really tough. And so this was a carport. This was just a roof. Yeah, just yes. a roof over. <laughs> and so who sleeps in here? Megan and Lindsay. This is the room that when it rains, till it just oh, soaks you... that carpet. Oh, I can see the water damage right here. <laughs> oh, and this is where it's coming into the house? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It just. That's OK. I right? know. I know they're taking care of it. It's all good, though. Just I mean... little things like that, just as a mom. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, at least they got a roof over their head, you know, and it's okay. We're gonna change that. I promise you. <laughs> All right. Have a rat of friends. Spell it out. B I C T O R B I C T O. Megan and Lindsay are absolutely adorable and they're cheerleaders. So I really want to focus on them, on their room, and giving them a space that's their very, very own little girl cheerleading room. Yeah. Dear Herky, <gasps> that is really good. All right, this is our room. So this is your room, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is it. OK. So what's this? Oh, that's our well, that's paintball, paintball mask. mask. Paintball mask? You guys are really into this. Yeah, that's a big hobby for us. Both of you? Yeah. This week, my project is Peter and Michael's room, and they love paintball, so that's what I'm going to give them. I'm going to give them a paintball room, the ultimate paintball room. I want you to tell me about this room a little bit. What about this room do you and your wife love? What about this room would you and your wife want to change? It's whatever makes Kim happy. It's what, you know, I'm satisfied. Just so long as she's satisfied. And, and she likes Native American stuff. She's uh, part Cherokee. She's part Cherokee. Yeah, and uh, she really likes it. So this week, one of my projects is Kim and Dennis's master bedroom, and they love Native American art. They love nature, so I'm going to keep it very natural, a lot of wood, and I want to incorporate this whole Native American art thing by displaying some of her pieces in the bedroom. So Mitchell, so this this is your room? Yes, sir. All right. Wow. So you went to the hospital when you were young, right? Yes, sir. And um, when you were there uh, for your, your cancer treatment, you obviously met a lot of, a lot of people that inspired you, huh? Yes, sir. Is that the reason why you started collecting all these pop tops? Um, because there's a lot of pop. I mean, this is just one bag, but I know you collect like a lot of these things. Yes, sir. And then what do you do with them once you collect them? I turn them into my my 4-H later. Okay. She takes them to Little Rock. All right. From there, it turns into money and goes to cancer patients for like their home funds and buying their toothpaste and their toothbrush. Have you seen their faces light up? I mean, have you seen it? You know, it literally change. Uh, I haven't seen them actually. Yeah. But I mean, I know that I made a difference in their life. Mitchell is this incredible kid 
And it's amazing what he can do with something as small as a pop top. He can turn this into a dream for a kid with cancer and really light up their day. So um, for all that he does, I'm gonna give him a place that's kind of special as well. So you're 11, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what are you into? What are your... If I could want my room, I'd want it stripes, like light blue and light green. Those are my favorite colors. And then pink. I'd like some pink in there. Like a happy room, it sounds like <laughs> you want, huh? My favorite football team is OSU. That's the college my mom went to. And I have her college card in here. I carry it everywhere with me. See, my mom. Aww. How old was your mommy when she passed away? I think 34, somewhere around mm -hmm. there. She was young. My dad was about 31, 30. I can understand what that's like, because when I was a little guy, my dad died in a car accident, too. And you know what? You'll never forget. Just remember all the good things. <laughs> little Ashley is just 11 years old, and it seems like she's really taken the death of her parents the hardest. I understand what she's going through, and it just really touched me because she's not letting her mother out of her sight. She may be up there, but she's always right here. She always has her with her. So tell me about the day when you found out about the accident and the wreck. That morning, I had went with my sister-in-law. She wanted to try to find her some living room furniture. And my mom called me. And she was crying, and, and she said, him Artie's, Artie's was in an accident. And I said, okay, she, is she okay? And she said, no, she didn't make it. She said, neither did Brian. I was just, <laughs> I just held the phone there. You know, I, I didn't know what to say. I went to cry. <laughs> And I said, well, I'm on my way. I hung up the phone. I called Dennis. Dennis went there immediately crying, just like I did. And he said, what about the kids? And I said, I don't know. Mama didn't say. And he said, go get them. He said, bring them home. I try to keep their mothers memory alive. I, I think that's important for them because she's, you know, they don't, they were so young. And I'm like with them when they go to bed and and I'll kiss them and we'll hug and we'll say our prayers and I'll tell them, I'll say, when you feel that little tickle on your neck, I said, that's your mama and daddy. The kisses you can die. You guys have done so much, and seeing how you've opened up your hearts. I mean, I can see from both of you guys, you love these kids a lot. We do. These kids lost their mom and dad in an, in an instant, and they didn't know what to do. They were gonna get lost in the system, and Kim and Dennis didn't blink an eye. They took these kids into their home, and they've raised them as their own. But let's just say the house really isn't working for this family, and so we're gonna change that. No, Steve Busher. Now, this guy is with Real Steel Homes, and they have helped us. This is your third build, right? Awesome. That's correct. Awesome, yes, man. So, <laughs> thanks for being here. Steve, anything you want to say? 
Well, I'd just like to tell everybody, uh, you're awesome. Thank you for being here. This family has uh, done so much to set an example for all of us uh, by being unselfish and reaching out to help others. And uh, I just think with everybody here, we're doing the same thing. We're gonna show America and the world just how much fun it is to actually go out and help somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So the family doesn't really know what we're about to do, and it is gonna be pretty exciting, so what do you say we let them know? Yeah. yeah. Pretty smile. Hello, Collins family. Guys, I hope you're having a great time on vacation, man. I know things have been really, really tough. Kim, Dennis, you guys opened up your hearts and your doors and you let those kids into your home. Problem was, that home wasn't really working. Well, we're gonna change all that. And we've got lots of people here to help us do that. Say hi, everybody. Yeah. So here's the thing, before we can start building your new house, we gotta take your old one down. So people, are you guys ready for some demo? <laughs> now Mitchell, I know you're into collecting pop tops. So today, to do demo, we're gonna do a little pop topping of our own. In fact, we're gonna pop the top of that house right off. All right, people, let's pop the top off of this sucker! <laughs> When Ty told me that he wants to do a little popping of his own, and all of a sudden I see two big tractor things just pop the roof right off the house, and I was like, oh my goodness. Because, you know, I've, I've never seen anything like it. So we popped the top off the roof. Now it's time to take down the rest of the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Oh! So also, all week, we're gonna be dropping these in. There's the first one. Hopefully by the time you get back, we'll only have a finished house, but who knows? Maybe a few pop tops as well. It's the morning of day three, and the Collins old house is about the size of their new master bedroom. So you've got their space connected with the hall, which gives them privacy. Then you start the long run of hall of kids' bedrooms. Bedroom, 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 bedroom. Four bedrooms opening up into this huge space of dining room, living room, kitchen. 4,700 square feet of house for a big family. This house is not only great for the Collins, it's good for the environment. We're using just cement floor, so that's alleviating extra product. The entire construction is going to be steel frame which is really kind of an environmental gesture because it's basically like taking four old cars and turning them into metal and building this house versus, you know, hundreds of trees that you would use for stick framing. Now, when I asked Ashley what she wanted to see in her room, she told me she wanted to see two things. She wanted to see stripes and she wanted to see polka dots. Well, these right here will be our stripes and these will lay across the entire room just like this, variegated across. Blue, green, blue, green, those are her favorite colors. And the other thing I did is I made these. She asked for polka dots. So these will layer all over the stripes just like this. It's exactly what she asked for. It's exactly what she's gonna get. Okay, so my special project this week is actually working on Mitchell's room. So what I've done is taken this pop top, taken a picture of it, brought it into my computer, and literally turned it into pop art. And then I took it and repeated the pattern over and over and created this, which is gonna be the wallpaper in the room. And this is all for a kid who makes a lot happen with something this small that's called a pop top. It is the morning of day four, 
and you can start to see just how big this 4,700 square foot house is. We have a big family, we need a big house. We actually have heard that we might get some severe weather tomorrow. Luckily, we built this house with steel and foam, and this house is actually gonna get its first test even before the family comes home. You know, there's a lot of energy efficiency in this house, and one of the great products is this insulation. Now, this is 85% blue jean material, like the jeans I'm wearing now. After they make the jeans, all the stuff that falls off the, off the factory machines, they scoop it up instead of sticking it in a landfill. They make insulation out of it. It's a totally cool product. Oh, that looks fantastic, bro. Fantastic, good job. Hey, Ty. Yeah. Hey, look, I've got some more. Some kids oh, drove awesome. all the way from Texas through the night to drop these oh, off. Oh, throw them in. We took the lead from Mitchell and were inspired by his collection of pop tabs. We had an entire trash can filled with them. And uh, Ty and I went down and traded a man for cash and went and bought toys to take to the Arkansas Children's Hospital. Hey, kids, how are we doing? some toys. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to see anybody go through cancer, much less a really little kid. And just bringing those toys into the hospital really put some smiles on kids' faces. And I wanted Mitchell to see that. Let's let him know what's happening. Hello, Collins family. Guys, Hi, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic time on vacation. Well, Mitchell, you do so much. And I tell you what, finally, I think there's some people that actually like to say thanks to what you do. Guys, say hello to Mitchell. Hey, Mitchell. Hi, guys. This week, we've collected lots of pop tops. We've turned those into cash, bought toys with them, and now we're greeting these kids. And the one thing you said was, they really don't even know who you are. You never get to see the faces or the reaction to some of these kids who receive the toys. Well, today, we're gonna show you some of those faces. Follow me. Here we go. Hi, Mitchell, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> when someone says thank you, and smiles and really means it. That's, there's no other feeling that can, you can compare to that. Here's your puppy. Aww. <laughs> Yay. That's he awesome. Loves it. Being a parent to a cancer survivor kind of puts you in a, a group of people that until you've walked in those shoes, you really can't understand just to know that somebody cares <laughs> makes your whole day. <laughs> bye, guys. Everybody, say bye to Mitchell. Bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye. See you, buddy. We'll see you when you get back. Bye, bye. 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 You know, you just got to be there to know what they're going through. I know. <laughs> Morning of day five, and it's been raining steadily all morning. Now we are 18 hours behind schedule. Now we are short on manpower. We put in a call for more help, and hopefully they'll get here soon. ABC's Extreme Makeover Home Edition is working hard to build a new house for the Collins family in Murfreesboro, and they are in desperate need of your help to finish construction on time. Crew members say they will be working through the night. They are looking for all the help they can get from the community. Six, and we have had the most unbelievable past 24 hours. We had tornado watches yesterday. We had tornadoes actually touching down in surrounding counties. We lost volunteers. We're trying to get them back out here today. We're working on the outside, the inside. We're trying to make up the time. We're trying to keep spirits up. People working hard to get this house done so we can bring this family home on time. We're gonna do it. The good news is the storm passes and our house is saved. The bad news is we're hours and hours and hours behind. It's time to turn your hands sideways! It's time to rally! We're gonna make it! Who's with me? We were so far behind, and we needed to make up so much time that we started pleading out to everyone. Next thing you know, we got people coming in from all over to help. It was awesome. I mean, it was like such a relief to see people just showing up with their tools saying, what do you need me to do? I'm here, man. Let's make it happen. Let's go!
So I'm in Michael and Peter's ultimate paintball room and I'm painting gigantic paintball splats on the wall and I'm gonna do it in different colors all over the room. It's gonna be really cool. Megan and Lindsay's cheerleading room. It's gonna be filled with these pom-poms. I wanted them on the ceiling, but it's just too much. So I decided, how cool would it be to take these and just do them over the windows? Pink and purple and fun. Okay, so normally by this time, or actually about three hours ago, we would be moving furniture into the house. Well, it's not happening. The driveway is not even dry, so we can't even access the house. And if you look at the house over here, it's not done. It's not ready. Which just basically means tomorrow is going to be crazy. At the crack of dawn, we'll move furniture in, and eventually, we'll bring this family home. Okay, so here's the thing. As you can see, well, we're just starting to seal the floors in here. The good news is, well, the walls are up, but over here, we're actually spraying down the sealer. So we can't even walk over there until it dries. If this has never been done, that furniture has never been in the house four hours before we bring the family home. We are all on pins and needles. Everyone's stressed, no one's had any sleep. This is when you show your true colors. This has been a bit of a bear. Absolutely. Okay, here's the deal though. We gotta bring these guys home. When can we bring in furniture? Hey, you know, thanks to the, all the local support, we are ready to move in furniture. We right can now. do that now. Right now. You serious? Let's move some furniture. People, stop what you're doing. We're moving in furniture. Let's go. Let's move it in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo! Let's unload some furniture. This is the latest that we've ever gotten the keys and been able to do what we do. Let's just say we ran our tails off. We got it done, and we're tired, but it feels good. And now we get to bring the family home. All right, that's it for this trip. <laughs> been tough on you guys and I know Dennis and Kim you guys did everything you can to bring your family together to keep everybody together and I know you guys are glad they did that but that house you had wasn't really working because it wasn't big enough for you guys well I promise you this man what's behind that bus is big enough for all you guys <laughs> so are you guys ready to see what's behind this bus yeah! are you sure yeah! moved away and then a new beginning I knew that my worries was over I felt free it was beautiful I never in my wildest dreams would have ever dreamed anything as beautiful as what I was looking at if you love the house I want you guys to do me a favor give a big hug and a big hi to these guys Steve Butcher and the guys from Real Steel Homes. They did an incredible job. We couldn't have done it without them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Thank you. You deserve it, you know. Good job. God bless you. So, you guys like the outside? Yes! Should we show them the inside? Yes! Come on, let's go check out the inside of your new house. Just breath.
breathtaking. I, I just don't have any words to describe it. Oh, <laughs> goodies! <gasps> Kim, look at this table. <gasps> they work so hard. Look, look, look. Eight chairs. It's like we all eat together now. <laughs> when we first walked in, it was just awesome. I never dreamt it would look like that. That, that thing is beautiful. You could put the old house in the living room in the hall and not even get into none of the other rooms. That thing was just huge, huge. You just can't imagine. So guys, what do you think of your new house? It's this is nice. pretty awesome, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my so it's kind of a modern meets rustic. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's exactly what it is. You guys have got stained concrete floors, which is not only beautiful, but also very energy efficient. I just want to thank you guys. <laughs> this is. Come here, give me a hug. I'm I'm give hug you on a top. Hug. Oh, hug. Oh, geez. I'm stuck down here. <laughs> I'm happy for you guys. I really am, man. I just. Not only did you build this house for us, this is something their mom and dad would have loved. Yep. <laughs> They would have loved it. I mean, I look around and I see, I see them in here too. Well, I definitely think someone was looking down this week because uh, we need a lot of help. And I don't know how we got this done because we went into a few obstacles, but um, we did. We never forgot about that. My mom always wanted a house big enough for all of us, and. I know she would have just went crazy over it. She would have loved it. And it just yeah. feels so great to actually be in a home that's big enough for everyone. What would make you guys happy right now? See our bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to see some more house? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, call us family. Go check out the rest of your house. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. It's like they took a paintball store and put it in my room. And man, it is so great. I feel like all the paintballs that we had was like all the paintballs that I've shot in my life tripled and then put back into my room. It's just an amazing feeling. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so surprised. Oh, my name's on my wall. This is so great. <laughs> I love everything about my room. I love all the stripes, all the colors. I just love my room. You got exactly what you wanted, your stripes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and polka dots. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at look. Meg, we have our own cheerleading outfits and our own cheerleading oh, stuff. Look. Meg, look at our closet. <gasps> Look at our shoes in here! Look at this! Oh Look. my god! I'm It's awesome! I love it! I think it's really, really, really cool! I do cheers every day to people! It's awesome! I just don't believe you guys have spirit. I really don't. I mean, I've heard it. cousin, but you're a really great mom, and you've got a heart of gold, both of you guys. So we wanted to make sure you guys had a place on your own where you could shut the door, get away, and recharge. Guys, go check out your master bedroom. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. Have you seen anything as gorgeous as this? It's beautiful, isn't it? And when I opened up those doors, that room just reaches out and grabs you and just gives you a big hug. It is truly amazing. Our bedroom is probably nearly half as big as our whole other house was. Then you're going around back there where the 
bathroom and all that. And man, it is huge. I mean, a tub back there I could swim in. Oh, it's it's amazing. You do so much for other people this week, I kind of had your back. And I made your room my special project. And I'll tell you what, man, I hope you like it. Mm -hmm. So go in and check out your room. Oh my gosh. This, wow. This is fantastic. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. When I walked through my room, I almost started crying. People will look at that and they'll just think, it's just a pop tab. What's the good thing about that? And then I'll get to tell them the story and it's just gonna change the way people look at things. So guys, Mitchell, what do you think of your room? Wow. Wow. It's, it's wow. awesome. Pretty cool, right? This is beyond cool. <laughs> Dude, this is all for you, man. Somebody like Mitchell is what makes us as humans so awesome that we can do so much for somebody else and you can make a difference. If there are more people like Mitchell in this world, it would be a much happier place. I'll tell you what, there's some people outside that like to say hi. What do you say we head out to the great room? Right, say hi. Let's, let's do that. When we were still working on the house late into the night on day six, I was not sure we were gonna make it. It was not easy, it was a difficult house to build, but I believe we've given them security, we've given them a great home that'll keep them together. That's the best thing you can give children. It feels really good to be part of that. Mitchell, I've been playing with pop tabs all week. It's gonna be so much easier in this new house. It's a dream for them, and it reminds them that people are good, and that every tragedy can actually have a happy ending. It's an answer to everyone's prayers. It's an answer to our prayers. And then most of all, it's answers to their, their mom's prayer. She prayed for a house big enough to keep all of her family together. And this house is gonna keep our family together. It really is. I see more smiles on those kids' faces than I've seen in a while. And that made me happy. This is a prayer that's been answered. And I thank everybody that had a part in it. No matter how big or how small it was. You guys feel like you're at home? Oh, yes. yes. Well then, I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Collins family. <laughs> Welcome home. Let's do a job. Ready? 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 Go! Yeah! Oh. Yeah!